Okay, I'm here on step 61, a free code camps do responsive web designs third project, learn CSS colors by building a set of colored markers. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use that linear gradient that we used on this um, on this red class here. And we're going to apply that here, but instead on the the green class, but instead of using RGB, we're going to use a hex value or hex values to change the color. So the first thing we're going to do is, um, if you remember here, to create a linear gradient, we just need that background. It can't be background color because this linear gradient will actually render an image. So this is actually, it's rendering an image instead of just one color. So what we're going to do here is we're going to write out linear gra dash gradient, and we're going to surround the first color with um, parentheses to signify or show um, that's one of the arguments. But right here, the first argument um, we're supposed to um, set in is the first thing that you can set, it's optional, but we're going to put it in, is 180 degrees. That 180 degrees means we want our line to go um, left to right um, horizontally like this. Um, and so that's that's what the first argument is. And then we're going to need at least two color arguments. So the first color argument, and arguments are just things we pass into the linear gradient here, one of the options that we can choose. And so the first one we, we're throwing in is saying, hey, it's different. It's like it's choosing different settings, kind of, if you can think of it that way. And so the first thing we're going to say, OK, we want it horizontal. And the second thing, let's start at this green color. And so. Um, Sorry, I actually have to um, I have to change the color. So it's 55 for red, then 68 for green, and then 0D for blue. And so it's a little bit different of a color from what we had before. And remember, um, hex is very similar to RGB, but you just need less characters um, to set it out. And instead of going from 0 to 255, you have um, different um, you have 16 different options, including a few letters in the beginning of the alphabet that you can choose for each one of these values. The first two are for red, then this next two are for green, and the next two are for blue. So now we're actually going to we're gonna be able to see the gradient at the end of this step. And so we're going to choose 71 for red, F5 for green, and 3E three, three for blue. And title case, or doing capital E versus lowercase e, has no effect. Um, but it seems like they uh, they prefer capital letters in this um, in the free code camp tutorial. You can see they changed that D. I did it lowercase, I think, in the last step, but they changed it. And so now we can see, oh, it starts at this darker color, and we transition to this lighter green here. And so those are our two arguments that we passed in. So optionally, we can add a third color, and so that's what we're gonna that's what we're gonna do. Um, and so. Um, the, the reason we, we are doing this is we want these markers to look like they're 3D. So this one looks a little more 3D than what we have right here. So we're going to add a third color, and it's, it's going to be more similar to the first um, color that we chose, and then end it with 31 right there. And now it kind of is leading into that blue color. It's a little bit, it looks almost blue, it looks a little bluer than what we started at. And so we can have a little bit more, it just looks kind of nice. Um, and so this is a third argument. So these are our color arguments here, and this is our orientation argument right there. And they're all separated by a comma and a space. Okay. Um, next, we are going to um, recognize that um, by default, the so we can see that um, so if you remember in the red in the red class, we set these percentages. We want this first color to start at zero, then we want the second color to be at 50%, and we want this last one to be at 100%, and we split them up evenly um, in three different equal parts. Um, I guess they're kind of two parts, um, because two of them are the edges, and so it creates three. So if you have three lines, and then in, you, if you use three lines, you actually create two sections. And so um, right here, um, we can see in the green one that it's, it's split up the same way as what we had before. And so by default, um, the linear using a linear gradient will um, distribute everything evenly. So because we distribute everything evenly for, um, um, for the red class, we actually can just delete this um, unnecessary, um, these unnecessary percentages. 
It's going to look exactly the same. Nothing changed, except we just didn't have to specify um, that we needed that. And the next thing is, um, by default, the gradient direction is 180 degrees. Um, so we don't actually need to include that either, and everything looks exactly the same. And next, we're going to start working on a linear gradient for um, the third mar marker. And so the first step to do is convert that background color just to background. And now we're going to create that linear gradient or start making it. And so, um, so for the first argument, we're going to pass in a HSL color. So we can just modify this. So 186, then 76% and then 16%. Um, and so again, we're not gonna see anything yet. So if you remember the defaults is, it's gonna be 180. It's, we can pretend that 180 is the first argument, um, but we don't actually need to specify that because it's the default. And then we need one more color at least to be able to, to actually have that gradient show because it's like, okay, we're starting at this one color, but where do we go from here? And so we're just gonna do comma space inside of these two parentheses that um, surround everything inside of linear gradient. Um, that's where we put our arguments. We're going to write an S another HSL color, and it's going to start at 223 for the hue, then 90%, or that's the hue, actually, then 90% saturation and 60% lightness. And now there we go. We have a gradient going. Now we're going to add that final color to make it like all the other markers that look um, a little bit more 3D. So one more HSL. And inside of those parentheses, we're going to do 240, 56%, and then 42%. There we go. And we have a little more 3D looking marker set. And for this last step, we're just going to create a new div inside of this um, red markers div. And then we're going to add a class attribute, and we're going to set that to sleeve. There we go.